Hello, I am Petro from Boolean Technology. Today I would like to show you how to configure an Ubuntu machine as a DHCP server. So make sure to watch to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gulian.uk. Let's get started. I am running Ubuntu 23.04 on this machine and I will install the DHCP server which is maintained by Internet System Consortium. First thing that we need to do is to look for available software. For this, run the command apt cache search DHCP. As you can see, the list is very long. I will filter the output through the grep command and I will run it once again. DHCP. Now the list is much shorter and we I will install the package isc dacp server. Uh, run the command sudo apt get install and copy the name of the package. Enter. On my machine this package is already installed, on your machine you will need to press enter to continue and wait until the installation finishes. After the installation ha has finished, you will need to change the default configuration to configure the DCP server according to your needs. You can, all the configuration files are kept in the directory slash etc slash dacp I will go there with the cd command I will run an ls command as you can see there are a couple of files there before editing or modifying the default configuration file which is dhcpd.conf make a backup with the cp command dacpd.conf and copy it in a dacpd.conf.backup I did this already, don't forget to run the command with sudo privileges after you copy it, uh, the, the default configuration file to, to after you made a backup for the default configuration file you will need to edit it. You can uh, open the file with Vim or with Nano Editor. I will use Vim sudo vim slash etc slash dacp dacp slash dacpd dot conf at the end of the file you need you need to add a configuration similar to this one. What I added here is the following. So I specified first two global options which as you can see uh, define the DNS servers that will be used by my clients and also the domain name which will be used by the clients. I use the uh, Google uh, web server and the Cloudflare, uh, uh, the Google DNS server and the Cloudflare DNS server 1.1.1.1 and I specify the domain name gulian.uk. Below I am specifying the subnet that will be used so the clients will receive an IP address from this subnet. The subnet is 172.16.10.0 and the net mask for this subnet is 255.255.255.0 so, so I am using a slash 24 subnet mask. I configured the local options for, for this subnet. I defined the subnet mask which will be uh, sent together with the IP address. It is a slash 24 subnet mask. I specify the broadcast address of this subnet which is 172.16.10.255 and I uh, configured the default gateway, the router that will be used by the clients. In our case, in my case is 172.16.10.1. 
at the end I specify the range this is the pool of the IP, the pool of IP addresses from which the IP address will be allocated to the client as you can see I define the range starting with dot 100 and until dot 125 so my clients will receive an IP address from this range only after you have added the configuration you need to save a file for this press the if you are using Beam, press the ESC key and add the colon X and press enter now you need to start the DHCP server if it was already running you need to restart it first let's check the status of the server for this run the command system CTL status I see the ACP server it is running in order to use the latest configuration to, to reload the configuration that I uh, changed you need to uh, run sudo system CTL reload you can use if reload doesn't work you can use stop and start or restart reload is not working restart after you have started or restarted the server confirm that it is up and running my server is active and it's running you can confirm this also by running a netstat command I will run sudo netstat the DHCP server is listening on port on UDP port 67 so I run the command sudo netstat I will specify that I am looking for UDP ports in listening state I will use the number instead of the name and I will specify P for the protocol I would like to see which which application is using this port I will filter the output I will add pipe grip 67 we have as you can see the DHCP server is listening on any interface uh, on port 67 and uh, this port is opened by DHCPD now we need to test the DHCP server we need to see if the, our clients are receiving the, uh, an IP address from our Ubuntu machine here I have a different Ubuntu machine I will log to it uh, here I am running Ubuntu 22.04 if I am not mistaken yeah 22.04 uh, right now IP uh, to check the IP address you need to run the command IP address show uh, press enter and if you, you want to see the configuration for a specific interface define the name of the interface in my case it is ENC33 as you can see I received an IP address the IP address that I received is 172.16.10.105 and it is from the range that I mentioned let's confirm this tl-n11 slash etc slash dacp slash dacp dot com and I need to run it with uh, DACPD, not DACP. The range is here, and I received an IP address from this range. We can confirm this also from the uh, logs. Uh, in order to confirm that I, I, I'm using uh, DACP and the, uh, the IP address is not manually configured on this uh, server, you can run the netstat command also. Netstat dash u from udp l listening number port and let's uh, grab the output the client is listening on udp port 68 
as you can see here let me uh, run the command with sudo to see the port to see the application which is uh, listening on this port as you can see it's UDP it's listening on any interface on port 68 and it is a DSTP client we can see here that I received an IP address and I received the default this is my default router and I have the DNS servers also advertised or configured through DHCP and I received the DNS server 8.8.8.8.8.1.1.1.1 now uh, on the server you can confirm uh, how many clients are you can check also the for the requests and uh, what the server is doing by checking the uh, DHCP logs the logs are located let me filter the output first I will go the default for by default the logs are uh, saved on Ubuntu in, on Ubuntu in slash var slash var slash log slash syslog I will run grep 172.16.10.105 and I will specify the file log syslog as you can see I have DCP for DCP request DCP arc and I can confirm that the server is working as it should if you want to check uh, to see uh, to have a complete view you can inspect also the file slash var slash lib slash dcp slash dcpd dot leases i will open this file i will run tail dash 11 slash var slash lib slash dcp slash dcpd dot leases and i press enter here i have the lease I may, uh, and I have the deta details when uh, the list started, when it will end, what is the state, um, and I see the hardware, the Ethernet, the MAC address for the client in, and the client hostname. We can confirm this from the client also. Let's run IP address show ENS. So we have here the details the host name is ubuntu slash dev this is my client and the ip address is here uh, you can confirm also by running uh, wireshark command I, I started the wireshark before and if let's and I added a filter UDP port 68 and here we can see the packages that were sent and received so the, here we can have the, the captured package this is the first one it's a discover the discover packet this is the offer our server offer the IP address 100 we can see here actually the details client IP address is 0, .0, 0.0.0 and we are offering an IP address of 100 this is the address that was offered by the server here is the request which is sent by the client client is requesting this IP address and the server is acknowledging it this is the last ex message exchange between the client and the server this is the client IP address I have multiple packages this because this uh, capture was started uh, prior to recording this video but you can confirm from here that the DCP is running and it's working fine and you can check all the details for the uh, 
packets this as I mentioned it is using UDP user datagram protocol this is the source port which is the server is listening on port 67 destination port 68 the client is listening on port 68 so we you have all the details if you want to inspect and find more information you can capture the traffic and check it or you can confirm that the server is up and running by running a systemctl status command and by checking the file slash var slash lib slash dcp slash dcpd dot leases here we'll have all the leases that are currently in use if the by some reason the dcp server is not working fine or you have uh, if you encounter any issues you can uh, also check the file var log syslog by default uh, the dcp messages are you can hide the dcp messages here and you'll find also why the server didn't start if it failed for example this is all from my side thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you have issues with the dcp please comment below and let me know what issue do you have you can also tell me if you are using a different server what server uh, do you use i am using in my lab environment isc as i mentioned but you can also use dns mask if you want to configure it as a dcp server or you can configure a cisco router as a dcp server if you visit my website bullion.uk you'll find there a post where i explain and i show the steps you need to take in order to configure a Cisco router as a DCP server. Thank you once again. Until next time. Bye.